Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to be talking about variables in Python. So, without further ado, let's get started. In my case, I'm going to be using Jupyter Notebook, but you can use any other editor of your choice. You can use PyCharm or VS Code. But if you're interested in using Jupyter Notebook, then the description is below. You can watch the video on how to download and install Jupyter Notebook on your computer. So let's get started here. I'm going to create a new notebook. And then once my notebook is open, it will say select kernel. So I have to select the Python 3 kernel, select, and there I have my notebook. So before we get started, we need to know what is a variable. Python variables are simply containers for storing data values. So they are containers for storing data values. So let's check an example. I'm going to add a cell below. And here, let's take this example. I have a variable A, which I'm going to store a value in it, which is four. And then I have a second variable B, which I'm going to store another value in it, which is eight. And then down below, I'm going to have another variable sum, which is going to store the sum of A plus B. So A plus B, which is going to be stored in sum. Let me just create a new cell below. And in this cell, I'm going to print sum. Okay, so this is a simple arithmetic addition, but I'm going to use it to explain to you the concept of variables in Python. So here you can see we have the first variable here, a. So in this case, a is a variable, is a variable name given by us. So what happens is when you run this code, the Python interpreter is going to create a loop for a memory location which is going to be suitable for this value 4. So it is going to find a memory location and it's going to call that location A. It's going to give the name A to that location which is a reference and in that location it is going to store this value 4. So in this case a is going to act as a bucket which holds the value 4 and then we have another variable here B so it is going to check for a location in the memory and call it B and that location is going to act as a bucket which is a container to store the value 8 so A is the name of the location which is a container that holds the value 4 and B is the name of the location which is the container that holds the value 8 and then further we have the sum this sum is the name of another memory location which acts as our container and in this case the sum needs to store a value and the value we are giving it is an expression yes in Python this kind of snippets or let's say this any line which returns a value we call it an expression so in this case a plus b is going to return the addition of both numbers is going to return a sum so this sum is going to this value which is going to be returned by adding a plus b is going to be stored in the sum variable so a plus B is going to produce a number which is a result and this result is going to be stored in the sum variable so let's run the code my cell should be activated and I will click here on this run button or you can click shift enter to run the cell and then I will come to the second cell and I will hit on run as well and you see my sum is printed which is 12 so you now do you now understand how it works if you don't understand you leave a comment down below and I will make sure to clarify you so here you see we have these variables acting as our containers and storing the values and we can now 
print from this container so here I'm saying print sum so in this case I'm asking the interpret I'm asking the interpreter to print me the content of a container called sum so we know that in this container sum we have stored the value of a plus b which is in the sum container so that's the name of our variable so that's basically what is meant by a variable in python so a variable is simply a container for storing data values so we cannot only store not only can we store numbers but we can also store other things like for example let's say i have to create a variable called name and this name i'm storing a name called john okay so here i have a name john and then down here i have another variable and this variable i'm going to call it amount amount and i'm going to set it equal to 5000 5000 so if i now run this cell and then create another cell down and say print name so what is the expected output you can pause the video and try it on yourself and comment the expected output in the comment section below so our expected output here we are trying to print the contents of this name container so the contents of this name container is John so let's run it and you see it shows John that is the contents of our name container and now let's print the contents of the amount variable so try that and leave the, try that okay so now you see print amount and then I'm going to run okay so after running we get the amount which is 5000 which is a value which was stored in the variable so that is basically what variables are in Python so there are so many other things you can store in the variable but this is the basics to understand what variables truly mean so next time when someone tells you about variable you already know that a variable is simply a container to store values so in other words a variable is the name given to a memory location which holds a specific value in your python program thank you very much for watching and if you love the video make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down in the description below and also check out other videos and don't forget you can ask for the topics which you want me to create videos on and i am going to create the videos on on this channel it should be programming related specifically specifically python so i'm going to get to you Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.